Hello friends, how are you doing? Trust you are doing good. I am doing amazing. And today I will be showing you how to do simple test effect for your Instagram reviews on Premiere Pro. Don't mind my voice, right? So let's just dive into it. So first of all, what you need to do is you need to create your test. So you can click on Command T or Control T on your keyboard. Then you can now come here. Let me zoom in on it so that you're able to see it more well. So after doing this, you can just come to effect control and click on this place. So it will open this test layer for you. Okay. So over here you can change the fonts to whatever font you want to change it to. Or I think I will change mine to Poppins. Okay, so I'm going to pop it. Then I would like to write something here. Simple test effect. Yeah. Okay. So this is good. Then I'll probably just give it, make everything capital letter. Then I adjust my BD a little bit. Then I can scroll up and give it background. Okay, so you can change the color of the background to whichever color you want. Yeah. You can increase it here then. You can change the color of the test, the color of the test, okay, so this is dope, this is dope. So the next thing we need to do right now is to give it, give our test effect or add an effect to our test, okay. So look at this scale right here, you can just click on this stopwatch, then adjust this guy a little bit. Then you can move this one forward. Then you put this on zero. Can you see? You can't see the movement because it was too fast. So I want you to see the effect very well. So let me put it back. Maybe I should increase the bit so that you'll be able to see it. Can you see? Okay, so it depends on how fast this person is talking. So that would help you to decide on you know the the speed at which you want the test to come out. So now I would like to show you again how I arrived at that. Okay. So let me delete. Let me delete this time frame and try it again. So first of all, what you need to do is to, you know, it is on hundred now. So you just click on this, okay? Then take the time frame that you have created, just drag it forward a little bit. Then now input is zero in the scale. Then can you see now? Let me see. I think this is much better. This is much better. Okay. So now let's duplicate it. Let's duplicate. Let's see. I want more test. You can delete this one. Then you can now duplicate this by clicking Alt. Alt, then you left click, then you release the mouse and it will stay there for you. Okay, so let me change it. You change this one to duplicate. Can you see now? Okay, so that will be it for this tutorial. 
Don't forget to like, share, and comment, and subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for your time, and bye for now. See you again.